Okay, we are live. Welcome, everybody. And you said Disney Doom. You said, oh yeah, he does. Mini Doom. Yeah, yeah that means they've cleared. And the dude, rank. that's the legendary heavy armor for PVE. Oh, that, yeah, that's what I was thinking. I saw the, uh, how. No, oh shit, that looks like the legendary armor. Yeah, it is the legendary armor. Yeah, and he's like, wielding Twilight. Yeah, and he's got Ad Infinitum. And Ad Infinitum is the PVE legendary back piece. Oh my god, so this person's been playing for a while. Yeah, dude, he's, he's got like legendary everything. Uh, yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty, that's pretty heavy. Like, that's, like yeah, that's person that, uh, that's what they're doing. Also, yay, we're over, uh, outnumbered on this map. Perfect. Yes, that's exactly why I wanted to join one of these Borderlands. I feel like we're less likely to be outnumbered on our own Borderlands map. Yeah. Also, a pretty good way to check and see if you're going to be outnumbered is you can, as soon as you join a Borderlands, instead of waiting for the next tick, you could just go and look at an ally that's just AFK in the, um, what's it called? Yeah, you check their status. Yes, you can check their status and, and it will actually show you if they have the outnumbered modifier. Okay, oh, so I am at tier out. two participation. Oh, yes. Oh, there's a skull breaker, there's a skull breaker out there attacking the... Okay. Go. Uh, he's got bloodlust. That doesn't look that great. But he also has got fury swiftness. I'm trying to figure out exactly what kind of stuff he's running. I, I killed him, so he's, I mean, it, <laughs> it doesn't matter. He's just gonna run away. Oh, and yeah, somebody's they're attacking us from the fucking thing too. He's standing over there now. He's like, I'll get you. I'll get you, booty. <laughs> I'm gonna put my finger in it's your butt. your boy. Like, yeah. My goal is like, yeah, you better run. Uh, let's invite... Ooh, this is a berserker. Let's invite him to the party. Oh, her. often. That's right. Oh, oh they're, they're stalking us. They're doing, like, the predator tactic thing where they're stalking us from a distance. Yeah, they're waiting for us to get separated. Also, here's a spellbreaker. <clears throat> ah, he blocked as soon as I... <laughs> he blocked my bull's charge. Yeah, I inflicted cold on him, so he should... He should not, you know, he's using endure pain. His help? He's, no, no he's using what? endure pain, dude. And he's got blocks and stuff. He's playing standard defensive spellbreaker meta build. Dagger shield. Ah, uh, okay. But the thing is, not everybody knows how to actually play that build. So as soon as he uses up his defensive options, he's just kind of stuck without any defense. Yeah. You know, I just thought about it, though. With uh, with my consumed conditions, when people inflict vulnerability on me, the best thing about it is I can immediately just be like, "Oh, you have like 20 stacks of vulnerability on me. Let me just use consumed conditions and go down to five. Yep. Probably okay, he's down. Uh, yep. There he goes. And boom, that takes me up to tier three participation. Perfect. Uh, I'm not up to tier three yet. We did good, buddy. Yes, we did. And our friend. Oh. Well, our friend Thump Mumpman here should know what they're doing. They're level 757. I know. And dude, do you know that if you get up to like really high uh, ranks in World v. World, that you actually uh, oh. get extra pips per tick? If you rank, um, if you rank 150 to 619, then you get one extra pip every tick. Oh, interesting. Yeah, actually, I like. I kind of like the build I'm running right now. Overall, it's you With know axe and focus. Yeah, Axe Focus, my skills are consumed conditions. I need to be using my signet of power. I keep using my signet of wokeness just to get around. Um, I'm using uh, Blood is Power, Well of Darkness, which blinds foes, and mm -hmm. the Flesh Cult, just because I feel like that's a good kind of substitute. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Well of Darkness is special come in handy, because if they're attacking at land, well, how the fuck are they going to hit us? Yeah, exactly. How are they going to do anything to us if they're blinded? Yes. Um, now the the signet of power use or the signet of the locust. You know, what is the active effect on that one? Uh, active effect. It's steal health from nearby foes, but it's not very much. The passive is the speed boost. So, so it's one of those signets where the idea is not to use it. Yeah, because it's kind of it's just like a it's best oh. used when you have. Is that that same spellbreaker that we saw? Oh, oh, we gotta help. We gotta help our teammate. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think this is the same guy as before. Yes, he is. 
And there's also a core guardian. I'm gonna see if I can get that core guardian. I can wreck him. Uh oh. Oh dang it, he full countered my backbreaker. I also got 10 pips. Earth Shaker. Boom. Dazed. Here. Oh. Here. Oh. Time to might. Oh, I'm down. Oh, we play much, much better when we play together. There we go. Yeah, there we Thank go. Thank you. And he has stability. Oh, oh crap. I accidentally... Oh, oh. I'm down again. I accidentally... I uh... I can. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I'm down here. Ah. Uh... We got him down pretty far. But it was. Oh, and they were immune to my spear. Damn. Yeah, fear uh fear is not affected when they have or is not affected when they have stability. Okay, mm -hmm. well we could just waypoint back and then uh let's go for that supply camp. And by the way, it's much fun. It has it's much been... more fun to do this when I have you, because it's just Yeah, warm. yeah. Um, and also, they, uh, they have revealed, actually, that the next balance patch is coming on February 6th, so very cool. Nice. I'm really hoping Spellbreaker gets some more, uh, PvE bonuses. <laughs> I honestly, I think they're, I mean, they're, they're a little bit over-nerfed in World v. World and PvP, but, um... They're okay. Like, they're not in a horrible state. Um, but as for PvE, they are they still could be very, very much more effective than they are. Oh, hello. Oh, who's this guy? He's an elementalist. Yep. I love it when people yeah. just, like, they see you and then they just run away. Ah oh, damn, I tried to chill him, but he's out of range. Well, I'm, I've got swiftness. I actually I actually took off Featherfoot Grace, and I, uh... Mm -hmm. And I started instead using... Oh my... Well, that was like... Oh, jeez! What? <laughs> yeah, I do a lot of damage. You guys got him quick. Yeah, instead of using Featherfoot Grace, I, um... Uh, I use Balanced Stance. Because it provides stability and it's also a stun break. And it's pulsing stability as well, which means they can't just like remove it. Like like while you have balance stance, you are not going to go down. Just period. Mm-hmm. This guy, dude. This freaking guy. Spellbreaker with all legendary armor. He's got the legendary back piece. And that shield, by the way, that's the legendary shield. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'm gonna eat hey. your baby. <laughs> Rank 15 reach. Nice. Oh, I didn't know it gave you, like, a, a bit of money when you completed it, too. I yeah, it gives you, like, 30 silver. Yeah, not In the bad. chest of the mists. Not bad. Uh, a, th I <clears throat> a world ability thing that I found quite useful is the Provisions Master ability. Um, yeah. Because when you do that, you can purchase like this uh, this portable provisioner for one gold, and it just allows you to buy siege blueprints from anywhere. Like you just double click the item in your inventory, and then you can buy siege blueprints. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Okay, so what are the dailies for today? Oh yeah, I still haven't completed it. They're from yesterday. Daily World be World Ranker. So I still have to rank up one time. But... You ranker! <laughs> but, uh... That's probably not gonna happen. The other one is Keep Capture. Yeah, that's also not gonna happen. Veteran Creature Slayer could happen. But I don't know where any Later. veteran creatures are on this map. Also, there's a player up here. You're so far ahead of me. <laughs> oh yeah, did you oh no, I thought you switched out your second. This is a soul beast. I'm gonna go ahead and start the fight and then you can join in. No. No, I go god no, please don't hurt me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
chased them all. Yeah, they were. They ran pretty fast. Now, I doubt you were even like they could have maybe taken you, but they were yeah, just I like, know. No. Like, no. Could have maybe tried to take you, but no, they just ran. They're like, no, I don't want to fight. Yeah. Nine pips. Nine. I'm getting ten. Peeps. With the gauge. I pain. need 390 more reward track points in order to get the triumphant hero, uh, triumphant hero's armor. I'm up to 2,020,000 2, so far for my next one. Okay. Triumphant arrow. Actually, it looks like too that if you went through uh, six full weeks of World v World doing all the reward tracks, then you could end up getting each piece of triumphant armor up to ascended. In six weeks. Yeah, dude. I mean, you you can, fair, you, dude, you can fair, do you more than one reward track per week. Yeah, and I, yeah. Like you could grind if you if you really just wanted to grind it all out, you could get all six pieces in one week. Yeah, true. Might take some time. I, that's, I'm I'm really just yeah, it would take time, but um, I'm really just excited to get. Um, to, to finish with the Triumphant Hero's Armor because, like, then I can move on to stuff that I actually want. Like, I don't really want to go through these reward tracks just to unlock the skins. Because the exotic skins are not doing me anything. Like, I have full Ascended Armor. I don't need, I don't need any more armor. Um, the only thing that I'm actually using it for is that since you can select, I believe, any stat set in the game, um... I'm using it to get commander's gear, which is for a different build. Hmm. But other than that, I mean... Other than that, I mean... Also, I don't know if you've noticed this, but when you actually try to get a new build, the trinkets are actually really hard to get. Did we just already lose this ruin? Uh, yeah. Oh. Looks like it. Uh. Oh yeah, there are a few people over there. Yeah. We can we can go over there, but let's let's uh, proceed with caution here. Follow us, Thump Muffin. You are our gauge. Here is an oh that is that elementalist. Oh my gosh, that was insane. Nope, bye. Yeah, bye bye, holy frick. Bye bye, fricker! Steady of mind, you fricker! <laughs> hey, we don't need to use that kind of language. Hey. Besides, here's the thing. Playing solo, it's much harder, I would argue, to get pips because you could get your ass kicked all over the place and there's nothing you can do about it. At least with someone else, you have a chance. Yeah, There's but a way dude, better chance you'll win a fight. Usually, what I will do is I will just go on stream or and just like talk, and then just go and capture ruins and stuff. And capturing ruins gets you participation. So, and then it, yeah. many many times in every single fight I get involved in, I will get my butt kicked, but I'm still getting pips. Mm -hmm. As long as I'm outnumbered and whatnot. Also, next tick I'm gonna get my third diamond reward. Gotta get the gauge. Gotta get the gauge. And yeah, dude. So, so basically, the reason why I wanted to tell you about that the partnership program from ArenaNet is that if, I mean, if I could get accepted, but I like definitely. But also, there was a, there would be a chance if you actually had a channel if you got accepted as well, then ArenaNet would help you grow your grow your channel and everything, and then it wouldn't be too bad. You can actually have people that watch and chat and everything. The tower is tracking your movement. Yeah, uh, I just... Uh, 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 uh. Zog, 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 what? I don't know. You know how these gay people are. Now, I'm also debating oh. which healing skill I should use, because right now I'm using Healing Signet, which is just a passive heal. But then also mm -hmm. I'm thinking about using Defiant Stance, which it only heals you for 1800 up front, but for three seconds, every single little bit of damage that you take, including from conditions, instead heals you for the same amount. 
Yeah? I mean, it's good if you've got rushdown type enemies like mirages on your ass. Yeah, like if you've, if you've got... If you're in a fight with a class that easily spikes their damage... And or or if you're going up against Scourge, also I just got the diamond chest. If you're going Same, up I against Surge Not Surge, Scourge, and you get every single condition in the game on you, and you're just rapidly depleting health, instead use Defiant Stance and it will heal you instead. And it'll just bring you right back up mm -hmm. to full health. Also I have one hundred claim tickets. Nice. Oh, oh, that's oh, total? Get there. Get. Yeah, get in there. Slowly. Yep, slowly but surely, that's the way. I, I discovered uh -huh. that in order to get one piece of legendary armor, you have to have like 1,400 claim tickets. Currently, I uh -huh. am at 773. Oh, boy. Yep. <sighs> but, um... You, but I can still get 48 more this week, which is in the next two days. Like, so if I just keep going, then, you know. Boop, boop, boop. That's disgusting. That was actually supposed to be like a backing up thing. From a backing yeah. up sound. I was backing up, backing up. Backing up, backing up. Because my father taught me well. Uh, did he though? Did he really? Hey. <laughs> you know, I just thought about something, by the way. So, okay, basic premise. I don't know if you know the basic premise of Sword Art Online, but if yes, I you do. don't. Yeah, it's a VR fucking MMO sort of thing, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, all that. My question is, how the hell did it ever get released when people can have sex in that game? Like, what rating is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Because there's a scene of the two main characters about to boink. Mm -hmm. Like, and I'm thinking, wait, what rating is this game? How did they get this on the mass part in public if you can show nudity? What is going on? Well, I mean, there are a lot of games that show nudity in it, but you're right. But if it was the if it was the first game of its kind, then it, le it, it likely would be on a very legally vague ground. So, maybe it's just weird to me. I'm like, how would you get that released weird. to the mass public? It probably would be really controversial. Yeah, but likely, likely legally, it would be just the same as any other game that shows nudity. I suppose, but you and not just nudity though. I mean, like explicit sexual act. Like how? Well, do yeah, you get there's that um. I mean, there you is know, like a rating. Yeah. That's for movies. You for know, games, it's A O. Yeah, but it's like, then how would all these underage kids, mind you, be able to play? Well, it could just be that they, those kids would not have access to those parts of the game. No, like no, it, no! The main character and his love interest are in the teenage demographic. Well, and there they you go. Do, yeah, then then it's dumb. That's, that's they me. put that the in logic, the show like that. To be fair, that show is very... Uh, it's I very like dumb! It. It, it is very dumb, and the main character is a stupid, empty wish fulfillment dumbass. Oh, and also, uh, yesterday I got electrocuted. Oh, um, <laughs> don't die. Okay, so if anybody's watching the stream right now, um, so basically I was hooking up my computer again because I moved, and I was plugging my computer in, and then I realized that I plugged it into the wrong outlet, and of course... My computer's power cord actually plugs into American outlets, but Korean outlets, as you might know, are different. So I had to use a converter. Um, so I went to unplug the thing, and I only unplugged the, the computer from the converter. I didn't actually unplug the converter. So I went to unplug the converter, and instead the outside casing of the converter came off, and it made the palm of my hand touch the bare metal. And I just, like, got zapped for, like, a full second. I was like, Zzzz, and I was like, holy frick. You know, I just thought about it. I was like, would we be able to glide into the tower from here? And then I thought about it, I'm like, nah, they probably, like, have it to a fucking science to where you can't do that. No, the reason, like, that, the reason why you can't do that, dude, is that you can only glide in areas that your server owns. And since you don't own that tower... 
um, it yeah. would it like shoots you down. Yeah, but only after a few seconds. That's what I'm saying. Is would you be able to do it using those few no, seconds? No, no, you no. It's not for a few seconds. It's like a certain distance in. So yeah, uh, yeah. Since fair. it's also, I did get my triumphant armor box, which is cool. Nice. Which is excellent job. <laughs> nice. Excellent a job, my guy, my guy, Margot. The funny thing is, is that I now have to switch, switch back. I have to switch back to the wow. the, uh, the reward track again. Mm -hmm. Because oh, I see someone running, but they're they're far enough away to where chasing them would be a waste of time, honestly. Uh, where is it? Triumphant armor reward track. I have to actually reactivate it. Otherwise, it just picks a random reward track. I have no idea why it does that. Because they want you to suffer. I think they do. Suffer the indignities that I have. I also updated my Patreon, so um, I have like goals of like. Your Patricia. Uh, yeah. Okay. Shut up. Oh. Oh. You said you're using night gear, is that right? Yes. Or in your language, yes. <laughs> How about my language? Also, um, they have a new Griffin skin. I, I've seen it before, but they must have taken out the ability to actually preview it. Cause I saw somebody actually previewing it in the mounts thing, but you, you can't do that anymore. Um, but it's called the Grand Lion Griffin. And it, like, the, the head of the griffin actually looks like a big old lion. Roar. <laughs> Roar. Ha 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 ha! If you ever say that again, I'll lift your testicles off. Oh. Oh. Did I, did oh. I see something offensive? Does it matter? I told you to stop. Oh. Okay. Uh, I won't do it again. Promise. Oh. oh. I also have to eat some more mint berry swirl ice cream. I also have to eat your mother. Oh, oh no. Oh no, stop eating my mother! So what runes... Oh, I'm rune... Oh man, I'm using runes of the scholar. I need to be switching to my other set that has runes of the eagle. Because runes of the... Runes of the scholar are power and ferocity, and then the last one is plus 10% damage when your health is above 90%. But how often is your health above 90% in PvP? Pretty much, unless you just are a big old spam healer. So, yeah. Also, so, good God, our score is in the goddamn red. Uh, we are literally like we are 130 points behind. The okay. I know, but dude. Okay, we are, so you were in second place we like solidly. I know, and we still have Stoma's Castle. I don't get it. I, I okay, that is. It. Here's what I've noticed: two things about Maguma. First of all, at any given time. You can look at Stone Mist Castle, and it will most likely be controlled by Maguma and be fully fortified, meaning level 3. Mm -hmm. Second of all, if you go into the World v. World thing, if you go into the World v. World window, and then look at our score, where it shows the three the scores of the um, all three servers, and then go to the mm -hmm. top tab where it says Match History, mm -hmm. and then for Statistic, you go to Kill Death Total. Look at our kill to kill death ratio. Yeah, pretty uh, much. Compared to the other servers, because ours is two point yeah. one, compared to the yeah. others, 0. 0.75 and 0. 0.73. That is why Maguma, Maguma has so much score. Maguma is the zerg. Yes, it's Maguma is hard. a fighting server. We're the fighting boys. We fight. Oh, well, you do? Yes. Yeah, pretty much. That sounds boring. You're boring. So I let's see. I currently have um, the chest plate and the leggings of the triumphant hero's armor. So I am going to now choose the helmet. I have to actually find it here. 
triumphant Warhelm. Or will you just die? Alright, so I got that, and then I also got 50 Imperial Fragments, 50 Dragonite Ore, 8 Obsidian Shards, and 2 Mystic Clovers. And I also just got 10 pips, or uh, yeah, 10 pips. Yeah. And I'm going to select Commander Stats for your mother. I got 9 heaps! Alright, Commander Stats, and then I can put this helmet in my bank. Okay, very cool. Got 9 down. people. Hey, ho da 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 Every time I every time I say that or every time you say that I always just get reminded of that Chinese girl. Oh. Oh because now Because and she didn't say she didn't say it's so cold. I didn't even know. I didn't even know, but this is a way easier way of getting 20 slot bags. You can just buy pillagers packs. Which are what? How? Where? 350 badges of honor and 7 gold, and you can buy a 20 slot bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. That's. Um, I didn't even know that! But it's That's super simple! I mean, it's not that much cheaper than just crafting them. It's it's like, because a normal 20 slot bag will cost you 10 gold for the Well, not folder. everyone can craft them, though. That's the difference. I know. By the way, also, I did. I was able to expand my inventory, because look what I got. Oh! <laughs> because, you know what I found out? I found out that you can buy supreme runes of holding. Which are what you need to actually craft those higher slot bags on the trading post. And each one, let me see, each one is 7.3 gold, and you have, you have to end up buying like 20 of them or something. It's like so expensive. Okay, yeah, time to go north. My anticipation is starting to decay. Oh, yeah. I mean, so it's got 14 minutes on it, but still. Yeah, what tier are you on? Five. Yeah, me too. Bye. Raul with the Kaish. No. Sorry, not Kaish. Talking about Raul. It's Hashish. We don't <laughs> talk about Raul. Spellbreaker. We don't talk about. We don't talk about the cash. <laughs> the cash. The we sun's fear about... cash. Uh, 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 you do not speak of your mom. <laughs> hey, I found a core necromancer. No wonder they your suck. mother. I'm just kidding. Wow. Wow. Okay. Uh, quitting forever. Bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't live up to your lofty expectations, you fuck. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm looking at my DPS. It's just completely destroying everybody else in the party. Look at that DPS. Holy shit, it's quite the man. <laughs> dude. I uh, yesterday I was streaming. I just got this comment in the chat that just says, "Take a shower and, and cut your hair." No. <laughs> I was like, "Wow, are you kidding me?" Take a shower, cut your hair, cut yourself. Oh. Oh, cut your life into pieces. This is your last resort. Suffocation. No breathing. I don't give a fuck if you stop breathing. <laughs> like, wow. <laughs> Oh my what god. What did I do to you, person I don't know? Yeah, I don't know. I just don't like your face. Is there a crime not to like your face? Uh, you know, I guess we can have a new inside joke. And that is, yes, what? sir. Oh. For anyone watching that the stream, not... not even being a patron will let you in on this inside joke. Oh man, I'm so devastated. <laughs> Absolutely in shambles over this. I can't understand your brilliance. Should I start a squad? 
Oh, let's turn oh, back. No, no, it is not the right way to go. <laughs> oh, well, those two are going anyway, so uh, um, uh, maybe we should back them up. I mean, it is like four on four. Yeah, it is. Right. To meet Mary, dude, it would be four on four. But point. they are all maybe. on the, in the same guild. Oh, I'm trying to take down this Herald. <laughs> That's almost one of the Oh, I'm sorry, were you trying to put conditions on me? Oh, God. I immediately pay for my star. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Old man, oh, man, real. Oh, God. Oh, oh I rallied. Stuck. Yes, he's dead. And I'm down. Oh, God, I'm going to be down this, here in a second. Dude, this, oh, freaking, this freaking mirage. Do you see how... And... Dude, okay, Mesmers in general are cancer right now. Yeah, can't 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 answer, kids. Mesmers are totally can't cancer. Right answer. Right now. Right now. Oh yeah, the right reason now. when we say ho down, that um, that always reminds me of that Chinese girl because she never said, "Oh, it's so cold." She said, "It's so cold." <laughs> it's so funny. You sound exactly like her. That's so funny. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, ho. It's so Wait. cold. Her name was Jen. It was actually something like Jen, but it's easier just to say Jen. And I specifically asked her if I could call her Jen, and she said it was cool. Can you still hear me? Are you still there? I think possibly he just went and didn't tell me. Or maybe he did tell me and I wasn't listening enough. Supervisor and alacrity. Wow. And you are back. Uh, I, I I told you I was gonna be a second. I I I didn't I didn't hear you. <laughs> I was a little confused, but I figured you just went and gone. <laughs> Fucking normie. Oh no, you did it. Wow. You know, just keep running away from me. Don't wait for me or anything. I'm running. Not like we're trying. No, like we're trying to do this together because it's a lot more fun that way. No. We're actually no longer outnumbered. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, we can move. Well, let's let's wait until the next tick. I have had it happen where, um, like, we're no longer outnumbered, so a bunch of people leave the map, and then we're we are outnumbered the next tick. So. You know, a bunch of normies are just like, Ree, yeah, Ree. In the Eternal Battlegrounds, we actually are winning for points. In our own Borderlands, we are not. Yeah, of course we're In not. In Yaks Bend, we have like, in Yaks Bend, which is where we are, we have two supply camps, and that's it. And those two supply camps are thanks to us. Yeah. And then in the Dragonbrand Borderlands, we have literally nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you we're outnumbered there. Mm -hmm. Old Man River. You know what I mean? Yeah, old Man River. What the old hell, man old River. Man? Yes, sir. <laughs> old Man Ripple in my pants. Okay, that's uh, definitely not something I wanted to hear. Uh, 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 I'm dead inside. Free. Oh, no. Oh yeah, so our next uh, World v. World Guild group is uh, for you. It's going to be Friday at 8 p.m. Oh, okay. oh gnarly, dude! I see. That is, I was that is quite gnarly. That is quite gnarly indeed. It is. It okay, is well, quite gnarly. Okay, so next tick in 10 seconds. 
What happened? Eh, eh, I'm almost caught up. You. Eh, yep. Eh, We're just waiting eh, at this ruin for you. Hello. Hello. Hi. Now we got people who are still, uh, still not outnumbered or completely outnumbered and out of our league. Yep. Yeah, uh, we're, yeah, we're, not we're still not outnumbered. Okay, that kind of sucks. Well, we could go to Dragonbrand. Would you like to go to Dragonbrand? Uh, how, about, how about one of us goes to Dragonbrand, the other goes to Maguma, and then we tell the other which one's outnumbered. Okay. I'll you go know, to Dragonbrand. So we Brand. can check. Well, first of all, I'm going to just claim this to get some participation. And why not? Your participation isn't okay. already maxed out? Okay. No. Oh, yeah, mine isn't okay. either. So I'll go to Maguma. And, um, I, I can't tell. I mean, Dragon Brand, we don't control anything, but, but the person that I checked doesn't have the outnumbered modifier, so. Hold on, I'll look around. Uh, oh, damn it, there's a person up there, but I can't check him. <laughs> you gotta wait for my sight, but not for long. I will destroy them. Uh, this person doesn't have outnumbered either. No, oh, that hmm. sucks. Well, this person doesn't have out outnumbered. Um, let's stay for the next tick and then see if you get the modifier. If you get it, then I will join you. And if if you if I get yeah. it, then you can join me. I honestly gonna, don't really like going around. Yeah, I don't really like running around the desert borderlands, honestly. Yeah, it's, the desert borderlands are too craggy and height based and Yes, and I really feel like I need to be able to use my mounts there. Yeah. But you can't. I just don't like it. I, I like the Alpine Borderlands better. Those are just more my speed. They're more flat based and Yeah, they're more flat and, and simpler uh, simpler to navigate and shit. Like And I mean just... and let's be honest, they are smaller. So it's easier to get yeah. around them. I mean, some people think that the World yeah. v. World maps need to be bigger. Uh, I don't think that the World v. World maps need to be bigger. I do think it would be really cool to have uh, a lot more strategic points to hold. Like a smaller mm -hmm. thing that's just like a, a tiny just outpost type thing. Um, mm -hmm. Instead of a supply camp, just, just kind of like maybe more sentries. Just something around there like that would, um, I don't know, just like if maybe a toll booth or <laughs> I don't know I have, I, I have no idea but it would be really cool to have I more know. capture points you mean gay sugar point yes that's exactly what I uh, mean I mean either way either way four four pips or nine pips I'm about to take over to my next gold quest anyway nice so it's brilliant it's so cold <laughs> so cold your mother, she is cold to me. She will not be. And then one time I actually had the pleasure of hearing her say the word nippos. <laughs> oh no. It was so no. funny. It was so, so funny. She needs to get her nipples in a knot twist. No! I said a knot twist, as in don't twist. <clears throat> oh, I thought you meant like a knot, as in K N O T. No. <laughs> not. <laughs> you. You absolute cock guzzling weasel. Wait, oh. What? Telling the other guy. Oh, oh, he's he's gone. He just left the game. He's just offline. Well. Or maybe he just set his status to offline. I can't really tell. That sucks. Oh well. Fuck him. Fuck me. Fuck you. Fuck the world. Oh my. F everything. F me. F me, right? You know? Oh no. F oh no, 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 no. Oh, I really hate it when I just finish killing an NPC and like all I mean, of my good skills are on cooldown and then a party of like four just comes up and gangbangs me. No. Okay, so Dragon Man. Not Maguma might be. I don't know. It hasn't picked over yet. Your mother? Hey, she's pretty okay. Hoda, 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 Hoda. You talking about my hold mama? Down. No, it's not Hoda. It's Hodown. 
Who <laughs> knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Mm, you need to hold on, Sonny. Okay, I'm about to take over. Let me see. Yeah, let's see. Uh, uh, and there's the tick. Yes. And you yes. are outnumbered. Yes, in Maguma we are outnumbered. We are outnumbered. Famished. Waiting for someone to just kill us already. Well, and you are on the complete hell. opposite end of the map. Yo. Yo. Six feet tall. What does that have to do with anything? Like <laughs> what? We well, sort of have a thing about height, okay? Yeah. Apparently, you have some sort of shorty complex. Oh shit! Oh, I'm fighting a reaper. Oh, this is just great. And they like, and they like fucking nailed me down with condition damage. Jesus. That's kind of odd because oh, reapers so don't usually dead. do conditions very well. I am so dead. I can already tell unless <laughs> I can get some condition. No. Nope. Yeah. I saw that. Nope. 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 No. Let me at least cast my condition thing. Let me at least cast my condition thing. Let me at least. There we go. Oh, at least I can slap him in the face a bit and be like, here, take some poison and bleeding. Damn it! <laughs> oh. Well, hold on for me. I'll try to meet up with you. Okay. I'm at the stoic rampart. Damn it! I'm so scared! That wasn't very. Eesh. Yeah, that. That wasn't very. Eesh Mune! Eesh Mune! Also. Eish oh no, we are still in second place. It appears as though Yaks Bend is maybe catching up with us. Boy, Maguma has been horrible at capturing stuff lately. Yeah, I don't know what happened. We I mean, we still. I mean, maybe it's because we're just killing everything. Uh, who needs captures when you got murder? If you look at the, if you look at our KD ratio, <coughs> it just goes up because the very first skirmish was it was one point six two. But then it's gone all the way up, and the highest it was is 2.12. With 48,000, 48,500 kills and 22.8 thousand deaths. Maybe Magma just doesn't care about anything. They're just like, hey, let's just murder things. Also, I'm down here. Hello, friend. Hi. Yeah, that fucking Reaper just murdered my ass. Like yeah, if, really if a reaper is able to kill you with conditions, then that's a really good reaper because the 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 special. Oh yeah, I was spammed out with like vulnerability and poison. And, I know, and I saw that torment. <laughs> torment, all this shit. Yeah, because the the specialization was not even intended for conditions; it was just intended for power. Like hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, why you gotta be so cold? <laughs> Don't be so cold. Chocolate chip cookie pizza stuff from Papa John's earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh, that stuff is so good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I mean, the great and the good thing is it's cold, but it's still chewy. Uh huh. It's just like Probably a soft baked cookie. It uh, you leave it out for like a day though, it gets all hard to, in, to chew, it's like, oh. Yeah, you gotta like put it in the oven or something. <laughs> Which, let's be honest, <laughs> you're not gonna do that. I'm gonna put it in your mom's oven. <laughs> oh. Yeah, then it'll be completely inedible and infested with diseases. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, who eat in my cookie? <laughs> oh no. That's not what I wanted to think about. These arrowheads are annoying. This is literally the only thing they do in the world. I know. They're just like back and forth constantly. This is when, um, this is when like my Doliac build really comes in handy. Mm -hmm. Or you know, we just double team the bathroom and the dad. Wait, I just killed that guy because it was part of the dailies to kill a veteran creature. And mm -hmm. I didn't get anything. By the way, you are not reading the outnumbered on your thing. So it's probably going to take over and we're going to lose our outnumbered thing. No, no, no. It, it, I just have to wait for one more tick and then I'll get the modifier. Oh, yeah. I forgot. You came in. I came in before. at the middle of the tick. Yeah. 
Hey. Oh. Yo. Let's see. And here's the tick. Uh oh no, you lost the modifier. Oh fucking. Then let's definitely go to an Alpine Borderlands because it's because I, I freaking don't like the desert borderlands. Would you rather go to I'll Yaks go to Bend? I'll go to Dragon Land, you go to Yaks Bend. Okay, Dragon Land. It's better to split, because if we split, we can cover more ground, and we can tell each other, hey, this is where the outnumbered is. Yeah. Especially if you happen to see a player with outnumbered, because then it's easier that way, because yes. I can come before... No. Let's see. Um, yes, yes, I'm this not map is outnumbered. Okay, hold on, I'm coming. I'm coming! <laughs> Number one. Yes, sir. Oh. Number one. Um. Ah, damn it! My participation is tab 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 tab. What? I mean, he says we're outnumbered in Dragon Ram, but this is Yak's bed, and I wasn't seeing anyone in Dragon Ram with the outnumbered modifier. That's, but apparently that's... he had. Hmm. Oh no, he's he's in. No, he's in, he's in Yak's bed. But he said DB. What? Yeah, he made a mistake. He made a mistake. Got nowhere to run. And life doesn't move on. You will live with your mistakes forever. Oh, no. You will not be able to hold down. <laughs> I can't hold down. I can't hold I'm down. I'm too cold. <laughs> too cold. Also, I just realized how good blood is, blood is power is. Considering it gives you a flat 300 power and 300 condition damage for Holy 10 seconds. Holy frick! Hold! Whoa! Yes, it is. Wait, what does it? What does it take away from you? Oh, that's a four oh, minute just, timer. Oh, it just does bleeding. It just does bleeding to you for like. Well, let me check. Yeah, but uh, if you have consumed conditions, then. Yeah, that's what I mean. It doesn't do that much damage to you overall if you have consumed conditions. It's no problem. Especially and like if, if you. If you... <laughs> if you could hold down and let me freaking speak. Hold <laughs> down, oh, hold yeah, oh, yeah. oh, If yeah. you basically, you just want to make sure that you don't have any gear that has condition damage on it, because if you have condition damage, then it will do damage to your body. It's doing a lot yep. of damage. It's doing a lot of damage. Apparently, our friend is ready to a fight. Holy crap! Yep, he's dead. Yes, he is. Oh, I'm sorry. You're freaking dead. <laughs> I'm thinking of making like a hybrid um, condition and power build with Berserker using Sinister gear, which I think Sinister is power precision and condition damage. It's Don't power, you power precision, precision, precision real agent. Yes, it's power precision, condition damage. And actually, the recipes for this armor are not that are not that expensive. Well, that's awesome. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Sinister Draconic Kelm is 71 copper for the recipe. Much, much better than the commander's gear, which is like 30 gold for recipe. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a Draconic Leg. Okay, so that's the helmet, the legs. We need the coat here. The coat is 9 copper. Don't you mean the coat? It's so cold. The Draconic Boots. Mm, the... It's emblazoned stuff. 420 emblazoned! <laughs> Drac <laughs> the, the Draconic Gauntlets. And the Draconic Pauldrons. Actually, the Draconic Pauldrons are 1.8 silver. I'm wondering how much the trinkets are, though. Because I'm I'm trying to make I'm trying I'm I'm thinking about making a berserker build that uses like strength arms and berserker, which does like a lot of condition damage, but in addition also does big chunks of of just raw power damage. Mm. Which could be really cool, especially in PvP. Which if, if pretty much if you're gonna be a warrior in PvP, you pretty much need to just run spellbreaker. But I'm thinking about 
some other possibilities because it's very far away from the meta but you know who even freaking cares about the meta power precision religion power booty hole oh that's five pips um, and still do not have outnumbered which kind of sucks let's just stay here what dude. oh come on let's just stay here no And we got 40 seconds left on that. Problem is, everybody keeps mass migrating when they notice, hey, we don't have out yeah. on this map. Exactly. Okay, amulets, maybe. Oh, power, precision, real agent. Uh, and then exotic. Coral or a calcum amulet. Wait, that's. Oh yeah, it's power precision, condition damage, but the main stat is precision. I don't know if that's sinister or not. I think that's I think that's rampagers. Yeah, that's rampagers. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go capture the camp. Okay. There's also a real player. Oh wait. Oh, that's our guy. <laughs> Dude, I, I just... I was looking at the primal burst skills for Berserker, and... Um, and I just thought the, the primal burst for Mace is, is so cool, because... You know what it's called? Uh, hold that thought. Does this person have two legendary weapons? Or is that a legendary dagger and a skin? What? Who? This person? this person? Yeah. That's a legendary sword. Oh. Oh, okay. So they they got two legendaries. And also, that's a legendary short bow. The dreamer. Well. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Fudge nuggle. Yeah. Oh yeah, you know, a lot of people have been really complaining about Firebrand recently. Happened. Yeah, people say it's really overpowered. And, and there's also a Spellbreaker! Oh. 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 oh, Balance Stance. I don't think that's gonna help me. Endure Pain. I'm dead. Thanks, Alex! I'm dead! I'm also dead. Why don't you just KMS? Yo, wait, you know, it's like, wait, what? <laughs> so let me see. So yeah, the, um, this primal burst skill for, I love the names of some of these things. Primal burst skill for <laughs> mace yeah. is called skull grinder. <laughs> oh, wow. Unleash a powerful skull strike that dazes your target and inflicts multiple conditions. Unleash the skull fuck. Oh. Oh. And then for Precision. hammer, it's oh. rupturing smash. For axe, the, the name of this, the primal burst skill is just simply decapitate. Oh my. It's just straight up cutting the head off of your enemy. Oh no. We can't do that. It's too cold. Also, I'll be here. I need to use... I need to use magic. Okay. Okay, so he's in the bathroom. We're waiting for him to get back. Waiting for him to get back. A revenant. 
pretty cool. The Lamb One is uh, one of the one of the greatest officers in the game. One of the greatest officers in the guild, I should say. There's a new inside joke between me and Dizzy. And it is, yes sir, that is the inside joke. But we will not say what it means. Because it's, we just can't, just can't do it. Also, miss warp packet. Alright, let's see if we get anything good. Let's see. Boom, boom. No, not really. I like this music though. This music's going okay. Hopefully he gets back from the freaking bathroom soon. We um Oh this thing, the skirmish reset, and we're on top, which is awesome. We are also outnumbered, which means we're gonna get a lot more pips. Just uh, very quickly while he's in the bathroom, I'm gonna check out this uh, triumphant war helm, which I've got right now. I feel like it's a little small, it kinda makes me look like I have a small head. But anyway, I, I've been using that to get commander's armor, and um, so far it's worked out pretty well. I have a lot of just commander's stats stuff, and I don't actually even need to get the recipes. Also, new daily reward. Ten laurels. Very cool. So I'm happy about that because I need laurels. Laurels are just a really, really valuable currency and it's very difficult to get a lot of them, so I'm very glad that we have some. Um... Yeah, I like this. I like this skin for the triumphant war helm, but it's it just makes me look like I have a small head. I also don't think it goes very well with this, with with uh, the rest of this armor. But currently, that's this is my the other stuff. I am like I'm I'm. This is not in <laughs> the right skins. Like I'm gonna actually definitely change this, but. Um, but that's what we that's where we're at right now so the current stuff that we actually don't have yet is the boots we don't have the boots um, we just have we have everything else and the pauldrons are actually wanderer stats I believe they're not actually commanders um, for that set and I'm also working on an ascended or not an ascended a sinister set um, so that I can well you know what what if what if I could just use Grieving for that set? I could just use Grieving. Sinister is power precision condition damage. I, If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm thinking about a hybrid Berserker build um, that does both power and condition damage. And I'm just thinking about Sinister's gear for power precision condition damage, but Grieving could also work. Hey, hi. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. And you are I back. I am, in fact, back. Well, very good, and because I was beginning uh, to get my code. Presence, my presence is rare and valuable. <laughs> Your presence are rare and valuable. Oh, we're outnumbered. Yes, we are. I was going to say that. We sell coat. It's so coat. We Why would you want to go to the... <laughs> Why would you want to go to the Alpine Borderlands when it's so coat? <laughs> and also the skirmish reset and we are on top again with score haha <laughs> I can't wait until we get supplanted well basically this is what always happens with Maguma is that we start out on top and we've got a pretty solid lead but we can't control anything we can't retain control of anything so me, me, eventually we fall behind before we, had, before we had switched over to the last skirmish we were doing really well we had like a score of 200 something oh really Maguma. Yeah, I was like, remember? That was when I first joined World Be World. We were you were in the middle of Oh, you of mean a... the match? Yeah. The match. Yeah, the match is every that... week. The skirmish is every two hours. That time we were doing really, really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, after reset. Because dude, Maguma again, Maguma is a fighting server, so when we when everybody's on and everybody's fighting, then yeah, we're gonna do really well. And of course we also very quickly captured Stone Mist Castle. Do you remember that? After the reset? Yeah. It was like, it was like, I don't know, 10 minutes after reset and we already had Stone Mist Castle, like, on lock. Stone Mist Menu. Oh. Okay, that timer is still for 20 seconds, but I can take down these other peeps. 
Yeah, also, I kind of misunderstood. I was man. thinking about I was thinking about Hammer Berserker, but I actually probably need to be focusing on Mace Berserker, not Hammer, because um, because with Hammer, the Primal Burst doesn't actually inflict conditions. It's the Mace, the Skull Grinder. All right, I got oh, eleven wow. pips. I got yeah, ten pips. Excellent. Got bear loot boxes. Let's see what we got. Excellent. Got a vicious... Excellent peeps. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, peeps. <laughs> my my peeps. Welcome to the stream. Oh, there are some people outside there. Mm, how many? They're There's... trying to get that position. There's a renegade. Where... I see a renegade. Yeah, I see a core necromancer. My... Oh, another. <laughs> oh, another. Okay, there's oh, a renegade. Oh, ow, 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 yeah, they're trying to spam us. Oh, yeah, dude, people. just get out of those AoEs, please. Yeah. AoEs, please. <laughs> Amanda, please. <laughs> oh, you remember that? <laughs> I know you remember that. And I hope never to ever again. Well, I just reminded it uh, to you, so... Oh man, I triggered that spellbreaker's full counter. I always, Don't worry. I always feel dumb every time I do that because I'm a spellbreaker. I should understand that. I should understand. Oh, he's got his full counter up. Let me just kind of not trigger it. <laughs> but I always end up triggering it. Not get triggered. Yeah, that's impossible. We live in the internet. Triggering is impossible on my soul. <laughs> Okay, Siege Blueprint oh. cases. So we got uh, Ballista and an Arrow Cart. Ballista and a Ballista. <laughs> I mean... Funny. Don't laugh at my... Don't oh, ever crap. laugh at my jokes. I'll consider myself a failure of a human being. Hey. Um, yes, sir. Yes, sir, Mr. Stupid, sir. <laughs> Mr. Stupid butthole. Motherfuck. I'm really glad I told you that. So, oh, let's go. Where are you? Where? 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 Other uh, way. Wait, turn where? around. Where? I don't know. Oh, hi. I was wondering where the hell you were. Sorry. Yeah, freak. I'm really glad I told you that story off stream. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's oh, go north. Go run! north. Go north. Run! Go on without me. <laughs> oh, no. I'm dead. You left me behind to die. How <laughs> could you? You? No, you told me to go you, on. You don't actually care. You just wanted to see me suffer. No! <laughs> I didn't want to see you suffer no more. Oh, I found a roamer. He's a spellbreaker. Full counter. Break some spell. You freaking idiot. Oh no, steady your mind, you friggin' frick face! Steady your butthole, steady! <laughs> I'm going to invade it! Oh, I hate it, all my skills are on cooldown. Boom, backbreaker, and earthshaker. Full counter. Backbreaker. Oh jeez, holy frick, dude, this guy's good! And also, it's the fact that I suck. I have, I have to mention that on my stream. I don't want anybody, like, saying, No, he's not really good. You just suck. Self-deprecation is the easiest way to prevent bullying, kids. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> like, no, you don't. No, it's like, you yes, sir. <laughs> Yes, sir. May I have some more? Oh no! You took it further! I want some more self deprecation. Just like I want more I dying, 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 death, 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 death! <laughs> I don't think that was self deprecation. I, that, that, that was wanted. Uh, dying, dying, dying. Death, 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 death. Barf, death, barf, death, barf, barf. <laughs> Dying, dying, ow, 
Also, a crap ton of our guys are dead over here. Oh no, they're downed enemies. Uh, oh, awesome. There's oh, there's a spell break over there. Oh, awesome. I want to die. It, and it's a 2v1. Oh, he's in vengeance, though. He's going to die. He's <laughs> just dead. There you go. Easy, easy two points. It's funny because in, when you're in PvP or World v. World and you do vengeance, basically all the other person has to do is run away from you. Because they know, people are familiar with the warrior's uh, skill 3. They know that if you don't kill anything, that you're going to die. So, you just run away from you and you can't kill anything and then you die. You know that if you're, you know that if you're dying, 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 death, 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 death. <laughs> also, I decided to switch back to me. Just because I can switch back. You mean switch back to yes. Sword? Yeah. Well, I didn't have my Reaper tree on at all, so... Oh, you were That's just I mean. straight up necromancer? Yes, because I wanted to use the spike tree to back up my like axe and focus stuff. Yeah. Also, our buddy is getting slammed with fucking slam. <laughs> with uh, although actually he seems to be holding up rather well. So either his opponent got swamped or oh we get, oh dude we got a couple of players over here that are the other side. Ah uh, shit. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it okay. happens. They're, they're, but they're getting they, right. They seem to be yeah, they're kind of chasing them off. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah, that yeah, Hollow Smith yeah. was swamped with every condition in the freaking game. Also, a couple of more players. Oh, oh yep, I see you. Dragon Brand. Hello. Oh, 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 oh. Eat my conditions. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, I did Backbreaker. Yes, yes. <laughs> but I think I'm still going to die. No, you're not. Don't die. I, yes, you rallied, but I need help. Fuck! I was gonna lay down my fucking... Oh, uh, my blindness field so they couldn't keep Oh my gosh, up. dude. We're so close. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Yes! We made it! Oh, we did it. That was uh, we awesome. Th huh? Did we kill all three? There's one guy that ran off. Oh, now he's dying. He's yeah, down. Dying, dying, dying. Death, 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 death. Don't run near the supervisor. Honestly, consume conditions actually seems like a better healing skill for me right now than than uh, your soul is mine. Soul, your soul is mine basically is the best thing if you want really quick reaper form. Uh huh. Like that's the thing you want to use it. You want really fast reaper form, but I don't really need really fast reaper form. My attack skills already help me get really so fast. So what all form. gives you life force? Is it like if like when you just it's hit what, things? No, it's like like death spiral. My three skill gives me life force. Like hitting things. So it's only things certain me... skills. It's not like, like. No, 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 no. Like hitting things gives me life force. Mm -hmm. Okay. I well, drain. So... I drain amount of life force per per hit, and my my finale attack gives me the biggest boost. But like okay. my three skills really good for getting life force because it it hits them six times, mm -hmm. and it does two percent, which is about three hundred and sixty four. Multiply that by six times, it gives me like a couple thousand. Okay, so basically, life force is very, very similar to adrenaline. Mm -hmm. Because, and now you don't gain life force when you get hit, do you? Uh, I believe I do. So, so even if if somebody else is hitting you, you get life force. Striking a chilled. Oh, striking a chilled bow. Okay. That's hard. Oh, sweet. Got, but, uh, my, got yeah. all my dailies. I know, right? World be World's becoming a very convenient daily grinder. Yeah, I know. It's it's a really fun game mode, honestly. I kind of wish we had started there. The chest is really nice because it gives you the um the two World of World uh, reward track things rather than just one. Oh, the exotic, you said? Nice yeah, yes. Yeah, that's a good one. It gives you cash. Gives you lots of cash. Also, two more ticks, and I'll have my fourth Yes. Uh, let me see. For me, it'll be one, two, three, four more ticks at this level, and I'll have my fifth out of six diamond chest. You know, I have a sigil on my on my uh, dark harvest that allows me to do five percent more damage. The sigil of course. I've been thinking mm -hmm. about replacing it with the chill duration sigil if I can that get it because, would be good if you inflict a lot of chill because here's the thing here's the thing it would go inside coincide with reaper form because I have a reaper form skill that gives me might when I strike a chilled foe 
or actually, let me look in this skill specifically so I can tell you. It's a trait called Chilling Victory. Striking a chill oh grants might and life force. It gives me eight seconds of thirty more power and thirty condition damage. Yeah. So every time I strike the full might. That's and really doing good. Extended, having extended chill duration. I mean, I have one on me that's twenty percent more vulnerability duration for my three skill. So I've been th I thought about that. I'm like, huh, that could be a nice combo. If I yeah, that does sound um, like a good combo. Plus the sigil of force. I mean, the sigil of force is good, but it's so expensive and it's kind of just kind of a boring sigil. Mm -hmm. Just a straight up five percent extra damage. And there are some there are some better sigils. Like um, one thing, like on my hammer, I have like see my hammer is is a lot of CC, right? It's a lot of hard CC. I have a superior sigil of in impact, which is plus 10% damage versus stunned or knocked down foes. Mm -hmm. And I've got a superior sigil of paralyzation, which is 30% extra stun duration. Mm. There you go. So it like synergizes well with the actual skills of the weapon. For my daggers, I've got um, a superior sigil of severance, which is really cool. It means every time I interrupt an enemy, I gain this thing for four seconds, where it's 250 extra precision and ferocity. That's like an extra couple of pieces of gear for each stack. Yeah, I think my favorite Reaper skill does have to definitely be my three skill. Because mm -hmm. not only does it hit a target multiple times and give me a lot of Reaper life force, but it also hits them for 12 stacks of vulnerability for 12 seconds mm -hmm. and just does a nice amount of damage. So it's like an overall good skill. That does and Night like Owl's not too bad. You gotta keep them in your position, but Night Owl isn't bad with the blindness and crippling effects. Mm hmm. That's not bad. Wow. Yeah. I ever teach you kids in school that you have to be e ya ya ye more than you have to be e ya ya ye <laughs> Like, no, mister, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh, no. Like, well, dude, yesterday maybe? I streamed for like almost an hour and a half, and for most of the stream, I didn't kill anybody. And then this one time, I found this core ranger and I was chasing him down. And and he goes into the water to try and get away from me. I chase him into the water. Nobody knows how to how to fight a spellbreaker underwater. So yeah. I'm removing all of his boons and everything, and I'm doing the full counter underwater. And he has no idea because most people don't even remember their underwater skills. They just yeah, because like... underwater combat is boring. <laughs> yeah, well, so they they and they don't know how to play underwater. And I, on the other hand, do remember my underwater skills, and I know exactly, okay, that's a hard CC, so that's going to be removing boons and stuff like that. And I just completely destroy him. I end the fight at, like, 100% health. Mm -hmm. Whereas if he fought me on if he just stood and fought me on land, he probably would have an actual chance of killing me. Yeah. The other thing I love to encounter is, is when somebody... Uh, does not have any stability in their build or any stun breaks, which is so dumb. Because these are the same people that complain that everything that fights against them is overpowered. Uh, because yeah. they'll they'll have no stun breaks or no stability or anything, and then I can just basically I could do bulls charge. Um, I could do bulls charge, which is a three second knockdown, and then I can do. Disrupting Stab, which is a one and a half second stun if they're using a skill. Then I can use Staggering Blow, which is a knockback. And then Backbreaker, which is a two second knockdown. Mm -hmm. And then my full counter is a half second daze. Mm -hmm. And I could just permanently just lock them down. And that's full why locking. I can end that fight at such high health because, you know, the, the uh, they don't even know what's coming. Mm-hmm. Full locking. Lock. Exactly. Down on the ground. Buried under all this beefcake. 
Beef cash. Beef cash. Oh wait, no, 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 not this way. Yep. Beef cash, yo keyboard. Yep. No, it's not a Casio key. You freaking idiot. I used to pronounce it Casio. It looks like Casio. It does Your not look like Casio. Like Your mother looks like Casio. <laughs> what do you think is going to be in store for Necromancer balance changes? I would not be able to tell you anything about that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, Please. like, basically, if, if you look at your strength in PvE or PvP, what do you think is underpowered and could possibly get a buff? And what do you think is overpowered and could possibly get a nerf? I mean, not not predicting, not necessarily predicting what they might do, unless you do have a prediction, but like saying, what do you think that they should do in terms of Necromancer balance? Oh, that would be good. I don't know. Reaper feels like it's in a perfectly nice spot, to be honest. I'm not really, I can't really complain. I'm just not the best at utilizing its skills, is all. Well, it's kind of interesting that you say that because many Reapers say that, or well, many Necromancer mains say that Reaper is in a horrible spot. And basically, if you want to play Power Necromancer, that you don't really have any options. Oh, interesting. That's what people say. People say that just Reaper is just insanely underpowered. Oh, a new available, new build available in ten minutes. Apparently he just does not want to fight. Yeah, he really doesn't. Hey, hello, Smith! Actually, hey, it's, it, let's keep a little bit of a distance, because if they have anything that, like, stacks together close up, then it's not good for us. But if they have something that could only hit a pro like, it only hits you if you're in close proximity, then if we're not directly next to each other, then oh, one of yeah, us can swoop. Yeah. So if you and I are kind of at a distance, then that works out better. Good idea. Also, one of our... Uh, plus, you have moves that rush down. Plus, you have rush down moves, and I have Grasping Darkness, which brings foes to me, so... Yeah, yeah. Bull's Charge is a really good one. Yeah, watch out. Now, <laughs> watch, watch this Bull's Charge. Watch. Yeah. Look how yeah, far see, that freaking good, goes. Yeah, that's a good rush down. That's what I mean. You, you have a rush down ability, yep. which allows you to just, you know, just come on in. Oh, apparently we have our guild objective aura. Okay. Yep, I'm not going to complain nice. about this. I'm not going to complain about this, considering it buffs my stats even more. Yeah, that's a lot, actually. Hold on, let me see. My crit chance is currently 77%. If I take Signet of Fury, it's 85%. Yeah, now I have 1950 toughness. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Yeesh. let's not go that way. Let's not go that way. There's a battle going on. Where? Oh, it's at a tower. Dawn's Eerie. Uh, but then again, Dawn's Eerie seems to be a hot spot for battles. And I uh, think about it. Does it? Yeah. And also some new items are available in the gem store. Like the, uh, the jackal you know, rune. You know, to be fair though. Gemstones. To be fair though, ever since Power Reaper got that got its change going on, I did seem to notice that it feels like there's been a bit of drop off in the power that it's had. Maybe they redid it again in the time between then and now, give it a bit of a nerve because it doesn't feel quite as effective as it used to be. No, they didn't. Remember, they I didn't took really out like it. I took out like three people single handedly and kicked their asses. Now I can barely take on one guy. Maybe it, that's just it could my just skill. be Maybe because just... after Path of Fire came out, people didn't really have any meta builds for the new specialization, so people were just kind of experimenting. Maybe. That, that could have been it. That's possible, but you're wrong! Oh. oh. And I, I feel the same way about Spellbreaker. How um, you remember in the beginning, I was just insanely OP. Um, yeah. In PvP, I never tried it in World v. World before, but 
Um, Again, I'll still never forget how I took on three people single-handedly in PvP. That that should not happen. That's like, how did that work? How? <laughs> I, I how? that could have just been a mixture of luck and also Probably. the people, like the people that were fighting you, may have just been complacent because they thought it would be easy. I mean, I'm nowhere near. Oh, I only got eight tips. That's sad. Yeah, we're in last place, but not by a lot. Wait, wait, hold on. Oh, we're no longer in last place. We're actually in second place again, but we're competing with the yeah. X-Ben. Oh, interrupt. Good. Yes. Good job. Thank you. Oh, I see two guys over there. One's up on the... Yeah. Hello. Um, over there. The Hollow Smith. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's three. That's three. Oh, that's three. Well, let's fight. Oh, fuck. No. Holy crap, they're interrupting the shit out of me. Yeah, no, that was, uh... That was kind of destined yeah. to fail from the beginning. Yeah, that was not fun. Ow. Woo, that was... Ouch. That hurt. That hurt, you know! It was so cold. Why do you have to hit us with their weapon? <laughs> like, what, you want to hit us with their nasty words? Yes, because those are less. Dude, it's what what some people in the PvP community do, like the structured PvP. Also, it's up to 8 degrees, which is good, because I do have to go to work later today, so... Um, what what something that's really toxic that the people in, in structured PvP do is that they will set their status to offline, and then and then they will just like when they blame other people for their loss in a match they will like be super salty and they'll like cuss them out and everything and say they're trash and everything. But since they're offline, you can't reply to them. Mm -hmm. It's so horrible. It's so just like it's so toxic. Um, so you just you report them for ver verbal abuse and then you block them and move on, I guess. But I I don't think that should even be an option. I think if somebody is appearing as offline, then they should not be able to whisper people. Yeah. It's just not right. Now, as far as warrior changes, I do think Power Warrior is going to get a bit of a buff because they have, in the, in the last few changes, they have been trying to buff Power Warrior in little ways. Like, for, mm -hmm. for example, the strength line, instead of, uh, like, they changed an old trait that was called stick and move, and it's, and what it required is that, like, if, if you were not at full endurance, then you would do 10% extra damage. And they changed that, because it was basically requiring a warrior to sacrifice one of their dodges in order to get a damage mm. buff. But instead, they made it so every stack of might, instead of granting you 30 power, it grants you 40 power. So at 25 stacks of might, instead of having 750 extra power, you have 1,000 as a warrior. And, uh, mm. and that is really, really cool, and that was something that was a big buff to Power Warrior. But at the same time, Power Warrior is not quite in the position that it needs to be in and uh the other time was when they buffed all the axe skills and they just straight up made the skills like do 50 percent more damage in some cases um well there was that and that was cool but still i think power warrior is going to get a few more buffs i think possibly that the spellbreaker will be a little bit better balanced in PvP, um, I'm hoping that they can kind of bring the damage of full counter up a little bit again. You know, because mm -hmm. currently it's um, it's it's either like you just you gotta choose one. You can either make it so it has a longer cooldown or make it do less damage. That's you can't do both, then it's not very useful at all. I personally yeah. would prefer the lower cooldown, but what that says is that that's the more powerful buff, is giving it a lower cooldown. Mm -hmm. Having it do more damage would be nice. I mean, do more damage! 
Yep. Also, I decided to switch to Well of Power, which target area pulses converting conditions on allies into boons. Oh, that's good. That would be a good thing. Yeah, it is a unique... Like, also, a, and it, that is another apparently, Zerg. It also apparently breaks stun, and yep, there's one guy I see. Two, three... Oh, hey! Eight peeps! Yes, I also got a, um, my second-to-last diamond chest. I'm very well almost done with golden. If we stay in third place, I'll have to wait two more, but if we get up to second place, I only have to wait one. Good. You only have to wait one peep. Well, hold on. 14... Hold on, 1483. Oh, that's Dragonbrand. We have 1417. Oh, yeah, we would really have to fight Yak's Bend. Which means the way that we personally could do it is... Okay, so let's go over to this next ruin, and then let's work our way toward a supply camp that we can capture that is owned by Yak's Bend. And that way we can actually help our server out. Also, here's a, here's a yep. Yak's Bend roamer. Yep. You know, I've also started Orange noticing here. that no matter what happens, I keep switching back to my fucking my uh, sleeveless. No, my sleeveless outfit. Oh yeah. I have a I have a piece of armor. The laystone vestments. I have a piece of armor that uh, the laystone vestments that have no sleeves on them, and I keep switching over to that constantly. Whenever I switch it back, and I'm like, nah, but I like the way it look the sleeve not having sleeves looks. <laughs> Just can't get over it. I'm like, it looks so nice. <laughs> It, it does kind of so look good like for a necromancer. Fucking... Yeah, I don't know what it is. I just like not having the sleeves. I kind of look like a mercenary now that I want to think about it. Just a mass mercenary. Yeah, you kind of do. I don't even know what I look like. You look like a freak, and I love you for it. Ah. I look oh. like a canthan, I guess, but not really. Oh, uh, you watch. Just give it, give it like another year or so, and then we'll see the Cantha expansion. Yeah, that'll be really cool. <clears throat> Calm before the storm, or something. Well, so far they have. Um, actually, there's there's a guy. You know what? It's probably, be, it's probably gonna be three words again because think about it. That's dude. Personal okay, so I had to tell you this. So there's a YouTuber that I watch. Uh, his YouTuber name is World of Enders, but. He has a series called Boots Bad Builds, where he does, like, uh, Guild Wars 2 builds that are, like, quirky and stuff. Mm -hmm. and oh, and Game will research. <laughs> wow, that must be a oh, crazy geez. thing. That must be a crazy fix. The world is shutting down to prepare for a new build. Uh, wow. Okay. Alrighty then. Two and... Oh, okay. Dang, they're gonna update. <laughs> okay, let's just restart the game. No, hold on. Nah, no, I'm just gonna let it kick me out. If I can get one more tick, damn it! It's not going to. Arch. Yep. Kick me in the lion's freaking arch. But I think Frick your participation you. actually stays. So. No, it doesn't. This game is the worst game. Frick Looks it. like the patch size was about twelve point six megabytes. It looks like your mom was about twelve point six megabytes. Oh, I'm sorry. That was terabytes. <laughs> Uh, let me see if I can find the patch notes here. Uh, let me see if I can find your mother's patch notes. How to patch the bitch out of her- Oh my gosh. Like, oh, what did I do? Yeah, I noticed that Guild Wars 2 does put out a lot of mini patches. A lot of, like, 12 megabyte patches. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, the Glorious Armor Box has been swapped with the Misforge Obsidian Weapon Box for getting first place in the January Monthly PvP Tournament. Okay. Misforged Obsidian Weapon. Yeah, but the Obsidian Weapon skins kind of suck. Have you seen them? Oh, uh, you suck! Uh, People have compared the Obsidian Shield to a McDonald's French Fries box. <laughs> it's they kind of suck the obsidian there were obsidian armor there was obsidian armor in um in guild wars one 
but and that looked really cool and that was like insane in-game content but um but um gosh. but the obsidian weapons look like crap and the thing is i'm really like uh it, it's kind of a fine line that they have to walk because if they make something look really cool but it's not on the gem store then they've already got a problem yeah also matches are apparently being updated yeah if they oh really but like if they make something for the gem store it has to look cool so what you what you are going to end up with is probably like a lot of really cool looking skins that are only available on the gem store and then the stuff that's not available on the gem store is going to be maybe different looking but it's not going to be the greatest like the funerary armor is some is a unique armor set for uh from path of fire and it looks kind of interesting but it, it doesn't look like super cool Oh shit! Next, when I reach level two twenty-five, I can start making dark steel. Yeah, boy. Uh, two twenty-five and what? Two twenty-five tailory. Oh, I nice. can make dark steel. Ingot. Oh, you're working your way toward uh, uh, five hundred to make those grandmaster marks. Yes, even though the journey is painful. Yeah, I can. Yeah, uh, I can. I'll but be there's a guy, I'll be very dude. Much I'll be very much dying, 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 death, death. No, it's not necessarily because I don't have a guy. It's just because leveling up is slow. It's I know, but it can be like... But it can be super, fun. super easy and fast and actually pretty cheap if you use a guide. Or you could be wrong. How about that? I'm never wrong. Okay, why am I not a reaper? Okay, apparently it reverted my tree back to... Because you you had switched your stuff in you'd switched your stuff in PVE and then you went into World v World and switched right, back to right right so um you're wrong I... <laughs> yes sir yeah that's what I thought now lick my boots oh my you gosh might <laughs> you might lick my boots and tell me that they taste like sunshine oh no oh. All right, uh, World vs. World is back up. So let's try to find the overpowered land. You mean outnumbered? Yeah, that too. Okay, is it, uh, let me know if it's in the axe bend. Um, let's see. I'll try to find some more people. There's only like one guy here right now. So I don't Do know. No. He doesn't have it, but I. But then again, that's one person. He might have just gotten in here because he's really close to the warp, the warp point. That's true. He's really close to your mother. And you're right, we did keep her participation, please. Yeah. We did keep your mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I said that wrong. <laughs> your mother. Your mother. Your mommy is a dirty bitch oh my it's like, gosh hey hey now hey now hey now hey now hey now hey now dude okay so how many of those imperial stars do you have Imper imperial stars what yeah you know those uh the things that you make from imperial fragments Oh yeah, I'm not going near there. You make um, you make them from a hundred imperial fragments, two obsidian shards, and ten thermocatalytic reagents. Uh, where do you make them at, though? Like, you make them from crafting. Oh, um, I don't think I can make them from oh, stars. They're those things. Oh yeah, hell no! I, I'm not level five hundred in any of those. Oh, you have to be five hundred to do it. Yeah, it says armor smith, artificer, artificer. Huntsman level oh yeah, yeah. Tailor. But that means what that means is that they're used in recipes that require 500. I didn't know you have Shut to actually up. be 500. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know you have to actually be uh, level 500 to actually craft those. But um, yeah. but dude, I got so many of those freaking things from Winter's Day. I have 25 of them. 
Wow. By to contrast, I have ten bloodstone bricks. I thought I had tons of bloodstone dust. I have ten bloodstone bricks and five dragonite ingots. Oh. Hey now, hey, 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 hey now. Okay, now we're about to see. Okay, it's here. It's there? It's at the axe bend? Yeah. Yes. I just got three pimps. Oh okay. boy. Oh, three. Yeah, three whole pimps because we're in third fucking place. Good job, Aguma. Not good. You're supposed to be the gold boy, Maguma. The fuck happened? <laughs> Seriously, they right were doing. Maguma, doing Maguma as a server was doing so good that one time I finally joined World vs. World, and you guys were kicking ass. And then what happened? I know. Usually we happened? are doing really well, but apparently everybody just decided to jerk off and take a break today. I guess so. Whew. I'm sorry if it's too hard for all of you. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, you're in Yak's Bend? Yes. Ye Yeet's Bend. Yeek's Bend. Yeek's been Ivan or the Fresher. I don't even know what I just said. It's they now nine mean... degrees. Huh? It's now nine degrees. Oh. It's uh nine degrees. That sounds fucking delightful. Oh, well, look at this guy! When I first, Fucking winter wonderland! When I first called you, it was like four degrees, and then it went down to two. Mm -hmm. And now it's up to nine, so... And then by the time I actually go to work, it's supposed to be up to like 18, so that's good. Yikes, bean! I freaking hate this cold so much. Do you? Really? It's the very worst of all of humanity. My participation is taken ticking down. Oh, I, oh, I don't. Uh, I know. I you know my participation is ticking down as well. It sucks, but I gotta wait for this camp to be able to be captured. Oh, and don't forget to use your lay energy matter converter. Oh, right. Oh, oh there's a large bag of obsidian for ley line crystals. And there's also a large bag of obsidian for Aurelium. Nice. So if you nice. if you have 25 of each of those currencies, then you can get 20 obsidian shards. It's really good. Well, apparently I haven't purchased the essences for either uh, airship parts or the other one. Leyline crystals. So all I can Aurelium. Aurelium. I mean, that's Aurelium. fine. I don't actually have any Leyline Crystals saved up. It's just that when there's no when there's no Obsidian available for Aurelium, I instead just get the Leyline Crystals. Hey now, hey, 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 hey now. Hey, 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 hey now. Hey now, hey now. Hey now, you're an all-star in the game on Go Play. Hey now. You're a rock star. It's so on. Yeah, made. I changed my armor, by the way. <laughs> I noticed. That glitter is gold. Holy Dude. Art. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fun. You not understand fun? Is fun outside of your fucking vocabulary? Yep. Uh, okay. Now let's go capture the camp. Come on. Come on, fuck nugget. Oh. <laughs> oh. What about the cage? Chill to the bone, er. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, sir. Damage die. Yeah. Very cool. They're so they're so rude, not just dying for me. I love how that's a berry synthesizer and I got a chili pepper from it. I know, that's not a berry! That is a vegetable! Yeah. Or if you want to be really technical, it's a fruit. Uh if you want to be really technical, oh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's actually pretty good. Yeah. Also, I got an exotic Drachnar short bow. Drachnar short Hold on, if I sell that, how much is that? How much are the stats on it? Uh, it's power, toughness, and healing power. It's 70 silver if I sell it. Or I can salvage it and potentially get globs of, uh... Hey! My last uh, gold chip! Dark matter. You can never have too okay. much also, I, I also got seven testimonies of heroics. I got... Twelve for my chest. Alright, I'm gonna salvage it, I think. I'm gonna see if I can get some dark matter. I did not. Oh, I'm gonna stop your mother. Ugh. I got the freaking superior sigil of water and a single elderwood log. Awesome. Sometimes RNG is not is not kind. RNG is is not kind to all. No. Yeah. I know. Okay. Uh, it's time to die. <laughs> What's the deal? What's the deal with death? I don't know. Why don't you go ask him? Uh, you're the okay. necromancer. You're his former like lover. It. Uh, excuse you? <laughs> Look, it's not like I want to do this, but it's kind of my job. <laughs> my blow job, if you will. Oh, hey, yo. no. I'll be here all week, all month, all year. You know what? I'll just be here forever. Oh. Hey, now. Hey, 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 now. Oh, yeah, just... Damn it, you killed him before. So, instead of... So, my... This armor set that I'm wearing, instead of doing 10% extra damage while I'm above 90% health, it instead does... Um... An extra 6% damage when the enemy is below 50% health. That's more useful. Yeah, it is more useful because uh, because it's not very often that I'm above 90% health in PvE. Or, sorry, in PvP. In PvE, yes, I am above 90% health many, many times, but... Mm. Yes. Yeesh! <laughs> Lord. This is not actually the uh, funerary leggings. The funerary leggings look freaking ridiculous. And you have no comment. Okay, sorry, I was, I, was, I was counting. Sorry, I was counting your claim tickets overall for my platinum chest. Oh, okay. I was just curious. Perhaps I can choose the carapace tests. Let's try this. So wait, then it's me throwing diamond, right? Uh, what, after gold? No, after platinum. After platinum, yes, it's mithril and then diamond. Myth oh, look, there's a... The platinum is 45 pips per per chest, and the mithril is 50, and then diamond is 55. Okay, well... BRB got a KMS. Well... Because no, I'll never do that. No, 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 hold on. What? Welcome to the pain pool. Looks the like you're dead. Yep, the pain pool. You want to see the pain pool? Here's the pain pool. It's a big swirling pool of pain. That does look like a pain pool. Yeah. You understand now. Looks like a pool full of pain. Good, good boy. <laughs> What's the deal with your mother? I mean, do you think you're oh, gonna actually gonna be able to grind out the rest of platinum, mithril, and diamond before the next match? I don't know. I don't really care either way. I just want to die. <laughs> Probably go through another chest or two and then call it call it a night for one more world. Okay, because that's, I mean, you need so many of those claim tickets, and so it only makes sense to get as many as you can in every week. 
Yeah. Like, yeah. Like the other yeah. stuff you're going to get to well before you reach the claim tickets. Like the triumphant armor skins, that's not going to be an issue at all. The Even the testimonies of heroics, because you can get those from ranking up. Mm -hmm. as well as every chest that gives you claim tickets it also gives you testimonies of heroics and you don't even need as many of those so like you mm -hmm. get more and you don't need as many there's some beeps event succeeded excellent job mm. Mm, indeed Excellent BJ. <laughs> All right, let's just calm the hipple down. You probably would do very, very well to use the proper food and utility. And the curry butternut squash soup is actually very, very good, but, um,. But, uh, oh, oh, here's a roamer. But you also gotta have a utility. Oh. They blocked it. They blocked my booty. They didn't block my knockdown. Yep. Here, have some might. Oh, look, interference. Thank you. I think they might have gone AFK or something. They no, I think they're just waiting to die because they're like, there's no way I'm gonna even fight back against this. Yeah, true. Ooh, very true! I'm so blue! I wanna die. Okay, stop! <laughs> no, it's too much. You know the truth! You know it's true! It's like, calm, calm down. Calm down. Think of the kittens. The kittens are dying as well! Okay. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna put you on some medicine, and we're gonna make sure that fixes you. It's like, there's nothing to fix, I'm already broken. It's like, uh, your son is, uh, kind of a Debbie Downer. Like, doctor! What? I'm just telling the truth. Your, uh, your uh, son is, a uh, kind of a fucking asshole. Uh, you know, he's just a little bit of a... <laughs> Ooh, there's someone over there running away like a little yep, it's a, bitch. It's a reaper. Of course it's a reaper. Hey, <laughs> back off. You're like, I don't know exactly what you were implying there, but it sounded bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I've got my blinding skill ready. Oh, he's not here. Never mind. I thought he was here, but he ran. Like a little baby bitch. Somehow I knew you were going to say that. Apparently you just got really mad and just went, Aah! What? Well, what did I do? You just went, huh, and like a bunch of shards like exploded out of you. Oh, yeah, yeah, that just... was break enchantments. And... Break your mother. Like that. <gasps> hmm. it's a cool skill. Two no, boons removed. No, it isn't. Will you just shut your butt? Check your privilege. Well, Alexandra, you can check your privilege. That's right. I just called you by a female name. How does that feel, you frick? I don't feel anything anymore. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I think when they reset world versus world, I think they actually reset everything. Like, I think it just everyone, everything went neutral. Oh, we're capturing yeah. neutral ruins. It's not like it's ticking back to the original owner. Oh, no! <laughs> well, how am I supposed to know anything about that? But we still have Stone Mist Castle. Mm -hmm. We do. 
I'm Don't wondering what things are going to be like on reset. Really? Do you? I'm do wondering you if really it's going to be the same. Or do you know the inevitable fest. answer that is? I was going to say, you, you know the inevitable answer is going to be ah, they're not going to do anything. The boomer's lost its luster. Wait, what? Say that again? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Uh, we're no. no longer outnumbered. If if we're out, if we're not outnumbered, then I'm only getting four pips for tick. You're only getting three. Yeah. Oh, which means this will take for fucking ever. Trigger. I tell you what, I'm hecking triggered. <laughs> oh. It's a druid. Uh what is yeah. What is oh. that Twisted Nightmare Mini? It's from Living World Season One. I honestly was not really that interested in Living World Season 1. It wasn't that It wasn't that great. It was just like... Um, the most interesting thing about it, in my opinion, was when they added like this new zone where you could... Um, it was called the Labyrinthine Cliffs, and it was basically... There were a, a bunch of airships, and you were like... It was south of Mount Maelstrom. And it was really cool because it was just like this completely new zone. But I I can't stand how Living World Season 1, it was like completely temporary content. And it was made to be experienced as it happened. So you can't go there anymore. You can't go to the Labyrinthine Cliffs and that sucks. Yeah, just like your mother. Hey. And that's also why um, Kessex Hills looks so torn apart and everything is because of this Tower of Nightmares event thing where there was like this huge tower thing and it was just like it just like destroyed the entire lake it used to be really pretty but I imagine just like me <laughs> I used to be the most beautiful now I'm no. Yes, sir. This could be a this could be like a joke on the same par as OK Condom. I bet. So far, no one has asked about that inside joke yet. I'm sure it'll come. Nope. No one should. It is the most sacred of it. Yes. <laughs> hmm. Oh. So you um so you finished gold today? Yes. I mean like like you went from the first chest to the last chest in gold today? I believe I went from the second chest to the last chest. Okay, okay, so basically you, you did most of gold anyway. Yep. Hold on one second. I want to, uh, yeah. I want to, like, change my underwater build, because the only time I actually end up thinking about this is when, um, is when I'm actually fighting underwater, so. So you probably Featherfoot Grace. Featherfoot Grace! And then I guess I could... Do well. Signet of stamina is pretty cool. Signet of stamina is extra endurance regeneration, and then I can just remove all my conditions there. That's what that is. Nice.
going to be joining the Guild World v. World group. Assuming that happens. Hmm. Are you going to be no. joining the Guild uh. World v. World group? Yeah. Which is Friday. I don't know when this is for you. It's Friday at 8 p.m. for you. I don't know if that's tomorrow or the next day or something like that. It looks like I got a ballista and an arrow cart. All right, I'm going to call it a night. All right, sounds good. Fun playing with you and nice talking to you. Likewise. Have and good... thanks, you too, man. Okay, so we are once again, we are alone. We're alone. So we're just going to capture this ruin. I really would love to grind out the rest of diamonds. It might not happen. Um, just because we're only gaining uh, four pips per tick currently. Not a fan of the full four pips per tick. Also, I can't really find the right right thing. I guess I guess the Armageddon stuff is, is okay. Protectors could work. Uh, Draconic? Eh, probably not. And of course, you don't want to go with this starting armor or anything. And you can see the inside of my thighs. No, don't look at my thighs. The triumphant? Probably not. The funerary? The war beast? I mean, I've used the war beast so many times. I think probably the best to use is, for me, is going to be the Armageddon. Um... The heritage is there. Well, they're not very good in the back, but probably the Armageddon. I guess that'll that'll be the best. I feel like I just wasted two transmutation charges. That's fine. We have plenty. We have plenty of transmutation charges, so we're all good. We also need to eat some more ice cream, ice cream and fruit cake. Oops. It's funny how in order to make the fruitcake, it's actually like an auric alchem ingot or something. It takes auric alchem ingots in order to actually make it. Okay, hopefully we can get the outnumbered bonus here once we... Once the tick comes over. If it doesn't, I'm just going to switch. I also, uh, something that I did is I, oh, hello, Hewan, welcome. Something that I did is I applied to join the ArenaNet Partner Program. If that happens, then they could help me grow my channel, which would be really cool. Um, then there could be more people watching World v. World and Chill. I also updated my Patreon page. So, um, feel free to check out the Patreon page. It is actually in the description. And actually, what I'm going to do is really quick, I'm going to update it in OBS. Uh, let me see the text here, the properties. Um, I updated my Patreon page. And here we go. It has new rewards. And it has, I mean, it has, like, updated rewards, updated uh, goals. So I can actually um, spend more time focusing on, you know, how to actually improve my channel. So please feel free to check that out. The link is in the description. Hey, one, I hope you are doing well. I'm so glad that you joined me for the stream. It's always nice. Always nice to see you. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and capture this ruin now. Many, many times what I'm doing is just capturing ruins. <laughs> we made it into second place, though, which is cool. We actually are beating out Dragonbrand. And uh, that's actually a change, because last night, Dragonbrand was winning by a lot. Like, they were winning by so much. 
but now we are actually beating Dragonbrand. Very cool. Currently 9 degrees outside. Can we get the um, outnumbered bonus, please? Please. There's the tick. And we did. We got the outnumbered bonus. We're no longer winning against Dragonbrand. That sucks. Whoops. Okay. Um, Black Lion chest. Is there a new Black Lion thing? Um, no. No. These are the same. I think... I think they're going to have a new one on the next balance patch, maybe? Not really sure. But yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. You know what I really wish they would do? Is I really wish they would bring the Chaos Weapon skins back. Because Chaos Axe, man, I mean, a lot of the Chaos Weapons are amazing. But definitely the Chaos Axe is, is probably my favorite Axe skin. Even, I, I actually think I like the Chaos Axe more than I like Astralaria. We have Lord Cauticus stuff. Summit Wildhorn. The Jackal Rune Gauntlets. That could be cool. But probably not going to get that. capture this ro oh well let's try that bull's charge really helps no boons allowed no boons allowed I don't want any of those boons just do not give don't give me any of that boon crap all right I'm not gonna have any of it boom interrupt I also interrupted him there, and uh, I'm really close. I did it. Okay, 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 okay. Full counter, and boom, breaching strike again. Boom, bulls charge. I freaking wrecked him. I wrecked him. I wrecked him so hard. He got wrecked. And we are in second place now, so we should be getting nine. Spoke too soon. Eight pips. Oh, sorry, nine pips. Yes, nine pips. It's ten pips if we're in second place. We're so close, though. We're, we're going to get nine pips. We need, uh, let's see, one, two, three, three more ticks in order to get the last diamond chest. After, at that point, I will probably end the stream. That That's probably when I'm going to uh, just kind of take a break from Worldly World because that will be the end of diamond. Then we can... Then probably what I'm going to do is uh, until reset, I'm going to do my daily fractals and stuff and then um, just so I can build up some extra money because... Um, I mean, I do have some extra money because... You slowly get it, right? You just slowly, as you get all this freaking loot and everything, eventually you, the money builds up. You know, you get a couple of gold here and there and just builds up. But uh, the fractals by far are the most effective way to get the money because if, if I do my daily tier 4 fractals, then I could make maximum like 22 gold in just one day. Whereas doing my world v world uh world v world and chill like it's 
it gets you some money, but over the course of like a week, I've made like three gold. Um, cause I'm, the primary currency that you're supposed to be earning is not gold, it's actually, uh, the World Reward Skirmish Claim Tickets, which I just passed 800 of those, and the Testimonies of Heroics. Okay, so those are the main currencies that you're supposed to be getting instead of gold, and that is the reason why you don't get very much gold. Whereas in Fractals, your primary purpose there is to get, like, Ascended Gear and, like, Infusions. That's another... It's basically a currency that you can get. And then, um, the, um... And then gold. <laughs> That's the primary... Those are the primary currencies you're getting out of Fractals. You know? And then raids, it's like gold and magnetite shards, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really a raider. But with... And then same with, like, PvP. But with structured PvP, you actually earn more money. Because with every match that you do in PvP, if you lose, you gain 15 silver. And if you win, you gain 30 silver. So you actually gain more money through structured PvP than you do through World vs. World. But honestly, that's fine with me, because I'm not going to try and get the legendary armor for PvP. I'm just, I'm going to stick with the World vs. World. It's much easier for me. Um, yeah, it's just, it's much, much easier for me. Okay. Looks like I'm probably going to need only two more ticks in order to get that last diamond chest. Really, really cool. But actually, we're not outnumbered in this tick, which sucks. It's just going to add another tick. That's fine. I mean, you can't get outnumbered every time. I'm surprised we haven't encountered more people. I mean, I would kind of think that the ruins would be a popular place. But currently, they're not. Capture this. I'm gonna see if I can maybe capture a supply can. Yeah, I could. I could capture that one. Let's see, it's gonna turn red. It's gonna turn red. Is it? Did I? Oh no! Oh crap! I didn't actually capture that one. <laughs> Whoops! I captured the sentry, not the actual point. And also, as a side note, I was using Scholar Runes because I forgot to switch away from my PvE armor set. So I switched back to my World v. World armor set, which is using Eagle Runes. And I think that definitely helped me out a lot because I'm getting, yeah, 80% crit chance almost. And if I switch to Signet of Fury, I actually get 88. And then if the server has Bloodlust, then it actually changes to even higher crit chance, which I think will really, really help me out. I really think that will help. So that will be great. That will be great, amazing, wonderful. Okay, so we're going to capture this supply camp. Oh, three and a half minutes. I can't believe I didn't check it. Okay, well, surely there's a sentry outside. Yeah, there you go. There's a sentry. And I can go to the sentry and kill that one and, and capture capture that so that uh, they don't have to drop on our guys. Let's also destroy this dull yak. Watch this, my DPS increases. Yep, see? As soon as I get down below 50% health, that's when my DPS increases. Alright, here we go. Firebrands. Firebrands are powerful, but you know what? Honestly, I think they do need to be powerful, because... Okay. Bye-bye. The LGBT guild. What, what is the actual name of the guild? Our Sanctuary. Interesting name for the guild. Uh, but no, I'm going to go back to the supply camp, see if I can capture it. Can I please be outnumbered? Please. Like, I really want to get those extra pips. I seriously want to get those extra pips. Oh, I just got a message on Quick Cow Talk that I didn't recognize at first. I was like, who is this? Yes. 
All right, so um, all right, four pips, and I'm still not outnumbered. All right, I'm changing Borderlands. I don't want to be just like getting four pips per tick until I finish Diamond. I really don't want to go through that. Let's see. Yeah, four pips per tick. It would, it would take me two two ticks anyway. It would take me two ticks. No matter what, it would take me two ticks. Even if I get uh, the, the outnumbered next time, only two ticks. Okay, so don't even worry about it. In this case, it's actually fine. And in this case, it actually doesn't matter that much. Okay, I also got about one silver. It's piddly amounts of gold. I got a message from my from my uh, cell phone provider saying that I used too much data today. Whoops. I don't really care. I have unlimited data. It just gets throttled at a certain point. Okay, so the timer, only 30 more seconds. What is this? Oh, it's a thief then. Well, what kind of thief? A daredevil with the incinerator. Oh, that's so cool. I mean, I know that those were like ambient creatures and everything, but it's just so cool watching the thief just run through it, just one shot, everything, one hit. Okay, two, one, boom. We're all good. What? Oh, I did not intend on getting that guy. Whoops. Balance stance. Here we go. You cannot destroy me when I'm in my balance stance. Also, I was doing full counter while he was healing. I really should have interrupted that. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine, we're fine. We also got grapes. Are grapes berries though? Are they just fruits or are they berries? How can one really tell the answer to such a question? Can't get to sell that instantly. Currently, it's looking like the best time for a stream is uh, like about 8 to 10. Um, about 8 to 10 a.m. Korea time, which is about 6 to 8 Eastern time. Currently, that's looking like a good time. I might make it a little bit later, like a couple of hours later. Oh man, he dodged. I thought I thought I had the drop on him. I was dead wrong. Oh my gosh, no Earthshaker, boom. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. I did knock him down, but. That's, that's also a two second knockdown. It's not that bad. He's gonna kill me. Boom. Dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yeah, let's see what happens when this uh, when this tick rolls over. Let's see if we get the outnumbered thing. But even if we don't get it, it really won't matter that much because oh, because um, what's it called? It won't matter that much because um, we're, it's going to take two ticks anyway. Even if we only gain, if we're in last place, getting eight pips will will make it happen.
So, and I'm probably not going to be in World vs. World after I finish the last diamond chest anyway, so it'll be fine. All right, let's see. Yeah, no, we did not get the outnumbered bonus again, so, but next time we will, we, uh, we will finish the diamond chest, which is going to be awesome. We will have finished diamond completely. And I'm looking forward to that because it's just a huge relief when you could just finish diamond for the week, you know? And then you're just completely done with it for a while. It's a huge relief. And then you start over in the, when the daily, or when the weekly World v. World resets. Also, we just, we captured it. I didn't even notice that. But you just start over when the week resets and there's no, there's not really any pressure to complete wood. Like, there really isn't. Okay. So, three and a half minutes left. I like how clean I've been able to make my inventory. So many slots. If you just look at that, so many. I know some people have it like all maxed out with all 32 slot bags, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, I'm not gonna spend that much money. We are in second place, actually. So we should get five pips on the next tick, assuming we can actually keep second place. Which is not guaranteed, but judging by how active the team chat is getting, um, it appears as though um, people are getting on in the server. And if people are getting on, we should be able to capture some more stuff rather than just killing. Okay. Okay, very cool. I'm getting so much karma from this, by the way. <laughs> like, I, I'm gonna be able to buy one of those back pieces pretty easily. And I'm also, after I finish the stream, which is gonna be in one tick, which is gonna be in a, ha a minute and a half, I'm gonna look and see about getting some sinister gear. Or not, well, yeah, some Sinister. I'm also going to have some Grieving. Grieving is Power Precision Ferocity and Condition Damage. And I'm going to see about making a Berserker hybrid build, like Mace, Mace Berserker, maybe Mace Torch. That could be really cool. Oh, could be really cool. For that Skull Grinder action. Which, that sounds, sounds kind of bad. <laughs> Okay, 45 seconds till we get that sweet, sweet last time in chest. It is the most worldly world of service claim tickets that you can get in a single thing. In a single go. 20 for the last one. We also get some memories of battle. We're also, we switch to last place in the last 30 seconds of the tick. Oh, I really don't want to go to work today, but it is, it's 10 degrees, it seems to be warming up. When I first started the stream, it was like 2 degrees. 
It's horrible. All right, so there is the tick. I get some Grawl loot boxes. Loot boxes. Let's go back to the waypoint here. And let's just check the... Let's just check out the loot. Just check it out. Just look at it. Just take a look at it. So we're going to take a look at this loot. And I think I am going to push the stream up a couple of hours, perhaps. Probably not 10 to 12. Maybe 9 to 11, which would be 7. Well, could it be 10 to 12? Maybe 10 to 12 could be good. As long as I can manage it. Alright, so first of all, let's sell this junk. Next of all, let's open this bag here. Okay, deposit all the materials, and let's also go ahead and salvage that, and then salvage the rare, and I got a Necto, which is very cool. Use that, deposit that, deposit that. Compact, and the last diamond chest. So we get two Skirmish Reward Chests, um, eight Memories of Battle, eight Instant Reward Tracks, uh, progress, so we're going to get 200 things, 200 of that. Two Mist Warp Packets and four Mystic Coins, and of course, the absolutely wonderful 20 World v. World Skirmish Coin Tickets. Alright, so let's go ahead and trade these in for the Testimonies of Heroics. Need tons of those. Eight Memories of Battle. Mist Warp Packets, still not really anything useful. And of course, the Mystic Coins, which are useful. Now, one last thing is I want to sell all of these sigils here. Not the Winter's Blessing. Do not make me sell Winter's Blessing. All right, so that is it. All those extra sigils and runes and whatnot. So um, that's going to be the end for the stream, and um, I should be back tomorrow around the same time. I think I'm going to push it up a little bit, uh, make it a little bit later. But if you joined, I want to thank you so much for joining the stream. And feel free to check out my updated Patreon page. It has been updated, so do not worry. It's got very good rewards, very good um, goals to work toward. And uh, I want to thank you again so much for watching, and I will see you next time.